Hello YouTube. The other day, I was sitting down and I was thinking, Jeez, what were you thinking? I know that's what you guys are thinking. But what I was thinking was that I've never drank on my channel. So I decided to go to the store and buy wine. And we are going to have a wine taste testing. I am not a wine person. I'm not a wine connoisseur. I do not know much about wine. In the words of Jessica Day that I quote very often and I very much agree with, I like my wine sparkling, pink, and under $11. I thought it would be fun to just try some wine, drink it. It would be so cool if my wines just appeared like this. Wow, that was so cool. So how I picked out these wines is I went to the store and if I thought the label was cute, then I bought it. This wine is the only wine from this collection that I've tried before. It's my favorite, I'm almost out of it, but it literally just tastes like juice. That's why I like it. It's the Red Moscato by the Barefoot brand. I thought this one had a cute little kangaroo. This one was classy and it was on the $5 section. I've heard great things about this one. This one was from the same brand, but this one is like not pink, so I bought it. I like the tasty food recipes, so I was like, hmm, maybe they have good wine. We'll find out today. And I remember this was trending on Twitter like three years ago and I never tried it. So I'm gonna try it tonight. Cheers to hopefully 2021 better than 2020. I don't know how to properly do a wine tasting. If it was for coffee, I'm your girl. But let's just start off with a wine that I already know what it tastes like. Good old red Moscato, deliciously sweet barefoot. It tastes like cherries, low key. I think it just hugged my brain. I love this so much. Guys, I'm such a lightweight. That already went to my head a little bit. I might get drunk really fast. Okay, which one should I choose next? Which one should I choose next? Um, she's indecisive. She can't decide. It's me, I'm she. Let's go with the cute kangaroo. I really wanna know what this yellowtail Chardonnay tastes like. Okay, 2020, crafted by the Casella family, Australia. Yep. Ooh. Hopefully it's not boring because it's boring. Someone needs to cancel me. My roommates have no idea I'm doing this, so they're gonna come home to all these wine bottles and just be so confused. <laughs> well, I can't smell it because I have allergies. <laughs> Usually when the wine taste, they just like sniff it and like get the aromas, but I can't do that. Thanks mom, why am I scared? Just drink it. Okay, my legs feel fuzzy. Oh, jeez, I don't like that at all. Ah, no, no, no. The taste is like, it's sitting on my tongue. I need some water. This is why I don't like wine, wine other than the wine I know I like because I waste it. I mean, thankfully I have roommates and they'll drink it, but ah, I don't like it. It's in my cup and I have to drink it. I could just pour it in this cup. <laughs> just some random cup on my counter. Should I try it again for good luck just to make sure I really don't like it? Moving on. Out of 10, I give it, if barefoot is a 10, I give this one a two. I truly did not like it. My taste buds said psych. I'm gonna pour a little water in here to like, Rinse it out. Five dollar pink wine. It doesn't say what taste notes it has. It just says that it should be paired with your favorite dessert like strawberry shortbread or whipped cream. Oh no, with whipped cream. Strawberry shortbread with whipped cream. Got it. Wine makers, please be good to me. Please be good to me because I'm kind of scared right now. My last experience wasn't good. Guys, it's not bad. Wait, wait, no, no, it's not bad. The bottle's right. This would taste so good with strawberry short for, and with whipped cream. Oh my gosh. I like this. See, Jessica Day, we get each other. Out of 10, I would give this, I'd give it a solid eight because it's my favorite number and I like strawberries and this would taste good with strawberries. So let's give it an eight. Moving on. Guys, I'm, I'm not tipsy, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not tipsy, but if someone played Drake right now, I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad. The house wine sangria. Why do I look like I'm 
trying to do a commercial. Housewine sang, I did it again. This is Housewine Sangria 2014. Its taste notes are vibrant, citrusy, and simply refreshing. Oh, this wine's from Washington, like me. We were both made in Washington, how cute. Oh. Mess, low key. Really, the third one I make a mess. Ooh, I can smell this one. Y'all, this, this one right here. Wait, mm, you see, I was gonna give it a 9.75 on my first sip, but I have to bump it down to an 8.75 because the aftertaste is a little flat, but the front taste is very forward and strong. I hope these are wine terms. I don't know. I'm kind of making them up. I've never done a wine tasting or anything. I drink barefoot. That's my knowledge of wine. Okay, let me try it again. Solid 8.75. Oh, this reminds me of a summer day on the beach. I want to be on the beach drinking this wine with like a pineapple in his hand and then like a nice chicken kebab in his hand. Like, why a chicken kebab? I don't think I've ever had one of those. <laughs> A chicken kebab sounds really good. I've never had one. <laughs> Y'all think DoorDash is open right now? <laughs> um, but to answer the question you're thinking, I would purchase this and I would drink it. So next time I'm on the beach, I'm gonna get a chicken kebab and this wine. Yes. We have the other barefoot. It is Rizzling, Rizzling? There's an I, so I'm gonna go with Rizzling as my final guess. Refreshingly soy, I don't know what a Rizzling is. I thought it was just red, pink, and white. What the fuck is this? Barefoot Riesling is a lovely wine with tasty aromas and flavors of mandarin, orange, and tangerine, layered with luscious peach and juicy pear. Hints of jasmine and honey complement the sweet and refreshing finish. So it's supposed to taste like peachy oranges, I guess? Let's try it. That like crack of the fresh bottle of wine being open is literal ASMR. I want to fall asleep to ASMR wine bottles being opened now because that was just kind of beautiful, actually. 10, 10, 10, 10. Guys, I don't even drink like that at all, I promise, but I was about to say I'm gonna drink this whole thing tonight. I recommend the Rizzling of my barefoot. <laughs> it's a little sweet though, like I'll be honest. I like my wine on the sweeter side, so if you don't like sweet wine, sweet wine, no, this isn't, this might not be that good for you. It tastes like juice but I'm a kid, I'm 22. I can drink, but I'm a kid when it comes to learning about wine. Beyond Red Blend Tasty. Notes of freshly picked raspberry and juicy red fruit, a company of velvety smooth finish. Ooh, it's so ray. Oh, I don't like the smell of it. I already know I'm not gonna like this. I don't like red wine. I don't know why I bought this. This was the most expensive wine too. It was $10. No, it was $9.98. I lied to you. Now I have to mentally prepare myself to drink this red wine when I'm probably not gonna like it. Ah, no. I don't like red wine. Oh my God. This is only red if this is red that I like. I think I'm colorblind sometimes. Honesty hour. Oh God, I don't even want to look at it. Just take it away. I don't like this. All I feel is pain. If you have evolved wine taste notes, you might like it. Just the thought of this, no. The last wine that we are tasting tonight is going to be the Capriccio Sangria. I've wanted to try this since it was trending on Twitter, but I don't know why I never did. Oh, this sangria color is lighter than that sangria color. Let's see if it's still good. Ooh, this smells like citrus. Guys, this bottle's so sweet. It says, don't litter. Help protect, pr pr help protect the environment. That's so nice. Cheers to the last wine of tonight that we are trying. It's good. These two, the sangrias, they taste very similar. This one is just more sweet. It has like a more sweeter aftertaste than this one does. This one's still a little strong. I would probably drink this with 
ice is that weird i don't like it strong i like juice i'm a kid yep it was good y'all it was good until it wasn't um i don't know why i said that i just i really like kehlani so that's probably why i said that but it tastes the same do what you want with that information <laughs> I just realized I didn't rate the rest of the wines, but you can rate them yourselves based off of my description. This one, a two. This one, eight. 8.75. This one, I'll give it, I'll give it a 9.25. 10. The Risen Langdon, 10. The Barefoot Moscato, 10. And this tasty, oh, I can't even look at it. It's a zero, I'm so sorry. No, actually, I'll give it a one because I'm sure other people like it, but me personally, I can't do it. I just, oh, can't do it. If y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment your favorite wine down below. And let me know if you would like a part two because then I will make a part two with wines that you guys suggested. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the red button down below. It helps me out so much and I would really appreciate it if you also hit the post notification bell. That way you are notified every single time that I upload. My social media links are also listed down below. So make sure to follow me on those. That way we can stay connected there. That's about all that I have for today's video. Oh my god, you guys wanna see my hamster? Cinnamon. Cinnamon, say hi. Oh my god, you are so cute. Oh my god. You deserve the whole world, Cinnamon Chai. I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.